So let's jump to number nine on the back side. This is a piecewise function that actually has one, two, three pieces to it. And over here, we're just talking about the restrictions. You want to look at this top piece only at the x values that are less than negative two. You're only going to be looking at this piece of the line from negative two on the x all the way to positive two on the x. And you're only going to look at the third piece of the line uh, at x values that are greater than two. So let's first uh, take a look at the top one and let's just imagine the equation y equals uh, negative x minus 4. And where would that cross the y-axis? Negative 4. And what do you do from that point? You're going to go down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. And you could use that same pattern of slope to go backwards to make the line as long as you want. However, uh, the restriction up here says x has to be less than negative 2. So it would be a good idea for me to continue with my pattern in the negative direction. And I'm talking about the x-axis. So I don't want anything that's greater than negative 2. I want only the line that's on the, that's on the left side of negative 2. Because it says less than negative 2. So let me erase all these positive x values, the 0, the negative 1. And even the negative 2, I'm going to replace it with an open dot at negative 2. Open dot right there. And we're going to show the left side of it because this is saying x has to be less than negative 2. Here's negative 2 on x. Left, less than is to the left. So that's why we only show that piece of the line. Now let's take a look at the middle piece. The middle piece is y. Let's pretend it says y equals negative 1 half x. And you can put a plus 0 if you want just to make it a little more clear to you. Um, that middle one crosses the x or the y axis at 0 that's the b value and from that point you're going to go down 1 over 2 and down 1 over 2 and down 1 over 2 um, and you could use that same slope pattern backwards to extend it this way however it says your domain is to be from negative 2 to positive 2 so you don't want this negative 4 coordinate or you don't want this positive 4, positive 6 x value of the coordinate. Does that make sense? You want it from negative 2 on the x to positive 2 on the x. So here's negative 2 on the x. Here's positive 2 on the x. So you really only want this piece of the line right here. That's a middle. And if we take a look at the uh, restrictions that your x has to be greater than or equal to negative 2, but less than or equal to 2, they're both solid dots because both uh, solid lines underneath the uh, inequality. Thank you, Hayden, for catching that. Um, so I'm going to draw solid dot right there, solid dot right there, connect those dots. I have a segment with two solid endpoints. Now the bottom one, I'm going to do in a different color. Let's say orange. It's going to be y equals negative 1. That's a flat line crossing through the y-axis at negative 1. However, so here's negative 1. Let me draw it to the left and to the right. However, you only want to show the piece that is greater than 2. So it's going to be an open dot at 2. And it's going to be going to the right because it says x is greater than 2. I do not want anything on the right side of this thing. So this is your uh, entire graph right there. Right here it's connected because the solid dot from the blue filled in the open dot from the orange. And over here it's separate. Open dot, closed dot up there. Let me ask you this. Is this a function or just a relation? It's a function because if you do the vertical line test, it'll never cross at more than one point. Even right here, it only has one point. That's an open dot, so it only has one point. And right here, one was solid, one was open, so it really only has one point. So that is a function, not just a relation.